Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how the ghost change affects the uh, TVP matchup. Of course, it won't be as extreme as TVZ, but one way or the other, you're not going to be sniping all that many zealots anymore like you used to be. Whatever the case, I bring you Empire Cast. He is in the blue trunks and he is playing town to the east of the Antigua shipyard. Versus opponent, currently equal, one apiece in this best of three series. It is Evil Genius's Puma. He is in the Red Trunks playing Terran to the West. And there's a lot of people, man, on the internet commenting about your recent facial hair change, and it's looking pretty fly. Looking pretty good, man. Yep, spreading a bit of creep around there. It's always good. <laughs> if only I could do that, man. I try to, do it. I try to stop shaving for about a month. Nowhere Nothing. near. A little, a, a, a little wisp. Nothing but a wisp. That's all yes. it was, unfortunately. Your baby man. My baby face does not uh, work well with facial hair. Yeah, well, when Imagine if we both did that, though. Like, both had the same facial hair like you. Wow. That would be pretty awesome, honestly. That would be pretty sick casting, dude. Yeah, maybe when you break into your 20s, that'll happen. We'll see. Uh, we'll see, man. I'm actually 22. Almost 23. <laughs> I'm actually not that much younger than you, even though... It looks different. Oh, I remember the comments of the previous one, and that was gay. And Mr. Diapolo, and casting with his dad. <laughs> Great, thanks, guys. So it looks like so far pretty standard. Let's see who takes a gas, if anybody. And I don't think we're going to see Cast take. He has queued up another SUV, and there Cass is a gas from down gas. from Puma. Oh, Puma but in fact, they've changed colours. Damn them! Oh, damn them! Ah, oh, silly people. Sneaky. But it is going to be, as you can see, um, with this, the, the refinery is taken after the barracks. So it's not an early, bar not an early refinery. He's not going to rush straight up to tech, but he still could be doing something slightly aggressive. It could also be a Reaper expand as the barracks is placed in such a way where that would allow it. We'll see what Puma has here for Cass, but the Destroyer, once again, you know, always playing the same style. And that's something that Cass has learned through playing so many multiple games online, so many tournaments, so many ladder games. He just has this style where it's one build to rule them all and it will not lose to anything. And I'm going to make sure that it doesn't lose to any all-in, any build that takes advantage of it. And that's the solid play that we do see from Cass. Yeah, and the question is, he's going to be able to deal with what's going because this will be a Reaper expansion here yeah. from the one and only Evil Geniuses Puma. Don't want to try and pronounce that Finnish name, that's terrible. <laughs> this is going to be scouted though, pretty much instantly, so he, he will be prepared for that. He confirms the tech lab is there. There's only really one reason to have that in this matchup, so he, what he does not want to do right now is leave with all of his Marines. Yeah. I mean, the thing is though, he scouted it. The only thing that could go bad for Cass if he doesn't have the Marines and he tries to predict where the Reaper goes and he gets that prediction wrong, because yeah. there's multiple entries for the Reaper to come from, so... He's actually just going to move out to the center of the map, which is, I guess is a bit of bold movement, and just going to try to catch the Reaper before he even goes in. Uh, but it's going to go to the Zelnog Tower range, and this actually could be so sick, but the Marines are a little bit slow compared to the Reaper. Yep, have a bit of a jog, a bit of a jog, a bit of a jog there. Going to get it anyway by the looks of it, at least intercepted. The cool thing is the Puma's actually making a second Reaper. Um, yeah. This is the thing that we thought was going to be really part of the metagame, but never really happened. The idea of building two, maybe three Reapers. Oh, he's Reapers. going for three, man. Yeah, And three he's, he's realizing what Cass's build relies on is just a few Marines early on while establishing two more barracks, two more gas. And then eventually, as he starts mining gas, a tech lab comes down. So if he could start to come in from multiple angles, together or not together, he could actually get a lot of SCVs down. So we'll see. He, really he goes around the radius of the Zelnogi Tower to so catch nice. the Marines streaming there, which was a nice maneuver, but unfortunately didn't work too well. And these four Marines are actually going to go ahead and be aggressive. And how many Reapers are out now? Three. Against four Marines, if, if microed well, will beat all of them. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. Reaper firepower is amazing against light units. It's absolutely stellar. It devastates them. And also, if he attacks from multiple angles, he can start to cause a bunch of different problems. Yeah. But he hasn't done so yet. He's playing defensively with them at the moment because of that little push there by Cast. Perhaps deliberate, expecting, oh, well, there's more than one Reaper. Yeah. If I push, I force him to stay back. Yeah, and not, there's not been too much of an investment from Puma here with these three Reapers. No. If he somehow was to go into the main of Cass and kill two to three SCVs, I think, would be a really nice trade. But uh, he's actually playing defensive with them rather than not. So odd. if he does play defensive with them, which we're seeing, you can clearly see in the supply that Cass does have that lead because he got the earlier expansion up. Yeah, he really does need to go for it. I mean, he can as well. He could go in now. Obviously, he had to just hop through the third, round the side, Ooh. and then do damage. Look at that. Cass's main base, a supply cooldown. That's very unusual for Cass. Come he for rarely, Cass. rarely yeah. gets blocked there. So I it looks like Cass made a bit of a mistake there. and was like, oh, crap. So even though he had the earlier expansion out, he wouldn't have 
took full advantage of it yeah. because of that mule obviously being used for a supply depot call in to help increase his supply. So Cash is still at a comfortable lead though as now Puma just a second starts to saturate that expansion and the Reaper's still not done anything here. We'll see. It does have, uh, we do have st uh, Combat Shield finished and Stim on the way. Double Reactor immediately here for Puma. Uh, and it looks like double reactor for Cass. So similar builds, but Cass has that earlier engineering bay because he went for that early expansion, had yeah. a little bit more money, so he could have just got that earlier engineering bay compared to Puma, who's only just finished his. Yeah, and he's kicked off with plus one. He's already halfway through that, which that starts to unlock these just natural timing windows for yeah. any player that has that lead, where he knows that his opponent's not quite there yet. So in a straight up fight, the guy with the upgrades tends to win it. And it looks like we do third refinery uh, coming down here for uh, Puma, so he wants to go straight into Medivax here and have enough gas to produce two at a time, and the Reapers now are coming in. The I've lost my voice. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's back. That's uh, terrible in the third map. That would be awful. I know. I like to lose, lot, I like to lose my voice. I'm like, Donovan's getting take the gas. No, no problem, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> right, we've got these Reapers now moving their way through the destructible debris, which is probably not the best use of their talents, honestly. Kind of nice, but I still would have liked to have just seen him hopping in there. The thing is, like, he had this opportunity yeah. to go in there and do damage, and where Cass was actually pulled towards the front, but now that opportunity has passed, really. It, it's too risky to go in there and potentially lose all of the Reapers. Knocking that set of rocks down does give him an opportunity to attack a potential third there from Cass. And the thing is with Cass's play, even though you know he's established well on two bases, he doesn't have any map control. And the only way he's going to have information is going to be scanned. And this is a very terrible place to be in because the Reapers can come in from different angles. Uh -oh. Even though Cass four Marines there all game long. Nicely done there by Cass. And the nice thing about that is that the